Hey guys, welcome back. In October of 2022, I told a story about how my team was experimenting with Nanite foliage in Unreal Engine 5.1 Preview 2, and we found a massive issue. World position offset was causing VSM cache invalidations that took the FPS on my GeForce 2080 Super from 50 down to single digits. It was game breaking. In the story, I outlined the different solutions we tried and how we eventually had to build a custom plugin to implement our compromise solution. Our compromise solution was to allow the wind to move our foliage with world position offset, but have the shadows be static and not move along with the wind. We did this by using a plugin to spawn a foliage shadow proxy on top of each tree in our world. The proxy was set to hidden in game, but still rendered a shadow. The original tree with world position offset was set to not render, but without a shadow. This led to massive performance gains and in dense forests like we were testing, there weren't any downsides. Well, yesterday we were experimenting with Unreal Engine 5.3 Preview 1. I was working on Nanite Landscape, Damari was working on Substrate, and we started thinking about Nanite Foliage. Did 5.3 have anything new? Do we still need to use the Foliage Shadow Imposters plugin that I wrote? We did a little digging and what we found was huge. In Unreal Engine 5.3, there's a new setting called Shadow Cache Invalidation Behavior. It can be set on the static mesh, but for Foliage, you can set it on the Foliage type in the Foliage tool. The setting has four options, Auto, Always, Rigid, and Static. Auto is the default and functions the same as Unreal Engine 5.2. In our case, we want rigid. With the rigid setting, world position offset will not invalidate VSM cache, but anything else will. Static is similar to rigid, but also won't invalidate VSM cache when there are transformations. Always does what it says. It always invalidates the VSM cache. Always is a special setting you would use if you build a custom system that moves your foliage without the engine knowing it and so you have to tell it to always invalidate the VSM cache. When we set the value to rigid, you can see that the VSM cache page viewer switches from blue to green and our FPS skyrockets. I'm now running a GeForce 4080, so the performance increase isn't nearly as large as when I had a 2080 Super, but I'm still seeing the FPS jump from around 23 to 78. You will likely see a larger percentage-based increase on less powerful GPUs. Either way, this setting alone takes dense forest from unplayable to possible. So for now, that's the end of the story. What was once a huge performance problem has now been solved with an efficient solution. Now I'm back to banging my head against the keyboard with Nanite Landscape. If you watch this far in the video, you're probably pretty serious about making games in Unreal Engine. So I want to let you know about the Hub World MMO tutorial series that I'm working on. Every Saturday at 12 p.m., I release a new video where we are building a Hub World style persistent world multiplayer game together. As of right now, there are already 16 videos in the series. I'll put a link to the playlist in this video description. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment. Please like and subscribe to be notified of future videos. Until next time, have a good one.